Thanks to your tax dollars, Savannah's new cultural arts center is nearing completion. Tonight we are taking a closer look at the new multi-million dollar project. Good evening. It is Thursday, July 12th. I'm Ben Singer. And I'm Tina Ty Shaw. Thank you for joining us. It took years to bring the center from the drawing board to reality. Now, the $18 million facility is taking shape. And today, we get a first look inside. News 3's Martin Staunton has more on the project and how it was paid for in tonight's Where Your Money Is Going report. This image is nearly three years old. City leaders turning the first shovels of dirt at the groundbreaking ceremony for Savannah's Cultural Arts Center. Now we're getting more than a look through the fence outside the center. We went along for a walk through the facility led by lead architect Patrick Shea. It's been a challenge, especially for the builders. Easier to draw than it is to build. There is roughly 37,000 square feet of space inside the new home for the Hostess City Space Program, an acronym for Savannah's Place for Art and Cultural Education. We really need this. The, the um, classes and what we do is extraordinary for the space that we currently have. That's at least space. This will be a hands-on learning facility with lessons available to people in a wide array of mediums. There are various venues inside for performing arts as well. Even before the Savannah Cultural Arts Center was off the drawing board, there was criticism in the community that the money could be better used elsewhere in the city. But because this is a SPLOST project, there's no wiggle room in how those monies can be spent. There is not an option to do away with the project and move the money to somewhere else. The price tag is nearly $18 million, all of it taxpayer money. Shea says when the work here is completed, this will be a hands-on learning center for the arts, not a hands-off viewing facility. But this is going to be a forum and not a temple. This isn't a place to just come and look at art. This is a, come, a place to come and be with other artists and learn about art and share art. And do art. And make art. That's exactly right. And the public should get to see the finished project sometime later this year. Reporting in Savannah, I'm Martin Staunton, WSAB News 3. The public will be able to rent space inside the Cultural Arts Center for gatherings like receptions, parties, and even private movie viewings in the theater. Those bookings will be available through the city's website once the center is open.